Hi everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today we are doing another review slash testing video. Today we are trying the viral Invisi Lashes from Tati Lashes. Now these have been viral on TikTok. Everybody is trying them out and I'll be totally honest, I've seen mixed reviews so I'm a little bit nervous because I've never tried anything like this before so hopefully this video goes smoothly. But these are like little cluster lashes that you apply underneath your natural lash it kind of mimics a lash extension and it's supposed to last for up to a week and I thought these would be quite handy because I'm going on holiday in a few well a couple of months and I'm only going for three days so I thought these would be quite good if I can apply them before I go and also I've got an event in July which I want to try these for instead of wearing a strip lash so I thought I would give them a test run to see how they work and if I like them and why not film it at the same time and do a review so I'm going to try them, apply them today and we're also going to do a wear test because I've not seen many people do an actual wear test and removal and I've also seen a couple of people struggle to keep these on so I'm going to see how long they last. So it's Wednesday today, I'm hoping that they at least last until the end of the weekend but we will see what happens. I'm quite nervous about this video because I've never tried anything like this before so hopefully this goes smoothly. So I purchased mine from the Tatty Lashes website. The lashes that I picked are Haute Couture because these are kind of like in the middle, there's more like natural ones and there's more full ones but I thought these were nice in between so I don't know if you can see those. So in this one you get a two rows of 14 millimeters, one row of 12 and a row of 10. I kind of wish there was two rows of 12 instead because I feel like I'm going to use them up the most. Also get an applicator, I feel like this is going to be quite handy. So this is a little tweezer looking forward to using that and then this is like the bond and the sealer it looks quite small but it says a little goes a really long way so that's that and then separately I did also buy the remover just in case because one good thing about these is you can remove them clean them and then reuse them again so you don't have to like throw them away once you remove them and I'd always want to remove them properly as well. The remover was £6.95 and then the kit I feel I was on offer because it was £21.95 and because I was a new customer I did get 10% off as well so I think yeah so all in all I paid £30.71 which I think is really good especially if they do last a few days. These probably wouldn't be something that I run to like constantly but for events and things instead of wearing a strip lash because I always get really paranoid it's going to pop off. I could just wear these for a few days instead. The things that I have got around me extra are I've got some micellar water in case I get the glue anywhere and also like to wipe off this in case I get glue on it. I've got a spoolie with me and an eyelash curler because I'm just going to brush and curl my lashes before I apply them. You do also get, which I think is really handy, this little leaflet in the kit which gives you like four different styles and it tells you like the lengths and where to apply them. I'm going to go for more of a cat eye because that's my favourite and it also has like detailed instructions on the back which I have already read through like three times because I really don't want to get this wrong. So yeah let's just get straight into today's video. As we go through I am going to keep on reading the instructions because honestly I don't want to get this wrong and I want to make sure that I'm doing them properly so I can get as much wear out of them as I can. So it does say to make sure that your lashes are makeup and oil free and completely clean and dry which I've cleansed and everything this morning. I've only got moisturiser and a bit of bro, bro, bro gel, bro, oh my gosh. This is how nervous I am for this video. Brow gel on. So all I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to start with this eye because I feel like this is going to be like easier. So I'm going to give them a brush through first just to separate them. I'm also just going to give them a quick curl as well because I feel like I might actually be able to see what I'm doing if they're a bit curled up. And then I'm also going to get a cotton pad ready with some micellar water 
just in case of emergencies because you never know. So we are using the adhesive side first and we apply this like a mascara from the base up maybe half a lash. If we're doing a longer lash, which I am, I'm going to go up like two thirds and it also says to work in sections. So I'm going to do like one lash at a time. I have seen people like put it all on and then do their lashes but they're quite quick at doing them so I think that's fine to do if you're quick at doing them but I don't feel like I'm going to be quick at doing these at all. So I'm taking the tweezer, holding it right at the base of the lash and then just peeling it off and there we go. There is like little glue um, pockets in there as well that should maybe come in handy too. Okay so the wand of this is very nice and precise, I like that. So I'm going to start at the base, draw, I've coated them, going up maybe like two thirds. Okay. Oh gosh, we're on. Oh, okay. Give it a little clamp together. Every time I clamp, I'm going to give it a good wipe with my cotton pad and the masala water. I'm going to get my next lash ready. I'm going to do another 14 again. I'm trying to get right as close to the base of my lash as I actually can. If I was not trying to look into a mirror, I think I'd find this a little bit easier because I'd have this hand free to like pull my eyelid up and then I could actually see. Okay, number two is on. Wow. I do feel like once you've got the hang of applying them, you'll be able to like do this really fast. Okay, so I've got both our 14s on. I'm gonna do 212 next. I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I feel like this is actually quite easy. And I think even if you're a beginner, if you take your time, you will be able to do this. Okay, so, and then next one is gonna be here. I thought the 14s might be a little bit long, but now they're on, I actually really like them. So 12 is going right next to it. And then again, once I've clamped them, just keep on wiping them only because the glue is going to stay quite sticky. So when you go in for your next one, it's just going to, the lash is going to stick to this rather than go straight onto your eye. So just have a little wipe in between. I could actually just keep them like this and just have them on the outer corner. I think they look really nice. And I'm looking down into the mirror so my eyelid is up rather than trying to look down into the mirror and it being like quite closed and then I, I'm just going to finish it off with the 10 just on that inner corner I probably could have just gone in with the 10 just now to be fair but we'll do the full works today and we'll see how comfy they are Okay, I absolutely love them. I'm going to give them a quick pinch just one last time, just so I can make sure that they are all definitely on there. Okay, so next we need to cure them, and that is the white side of this. So this is supposed to take away the tackiness of the glue, and we're supposed to like dab it on rather than sweep it. So let's just do that and then we can see if it does take the tackiness away. I think it does say to do it again if um, it hasn't completely taken the tackiness away. So I'm just doing this mainly at the bottoms. Okay, and then the last step it says once you've cured and everything to give them one last clamp down. So I've cleaned off my tweezer again, so it's nice and clean. And then I'm gonna clamp them, give them a good squeeze all along again. Okay, so I absolutely love them. I think, I thought that they were maybe gonna be like really long in the outer corners, but I actually think they look really nice. Feel really light and comfortable as well. And I really hope that these do like last for the next few days because I'll be so happy if they do because they'll be perfect for my holiday. So now we've got to do this eye the same, which is going to be a bit harder because I don't know if I'm going to have to use my left hand or like 
apply them in a different way but that is my before and after and I think they look really pretty and they were a lot easier than I was expecting I didn't have great hopes for myself to be fair but yeah I absolutely love that I think I've maybe come a bit further over on this side but I don't really mind as long as I get the method right this time and I can really make them last then hopefully next time I can create a better shape I don't feel like the shape of this one is going as good as the shape on the first one. Problem is when you do apply them, you don't really, like you kind of have to get them in the right place straight away. You don't really have room for error, to be fair. So again, dabbing the Cura on. So I'm just gonna give them a few seconds just to dry off. But yeah, I think I'm really proud of myself for doing that. Haven't made a mess, the glue hasn't been irritating and I actually think they look really nice. Okay, so that is the finished look. I've definitely got this side a little bit more even than this side. I think it's just that one lash there is maybe just a tiny little bit ski with. But overall, I'm absolutely so impressed with those. Okay guys, so they are my lashes done. I absolutely love them. I'm really surprised at how well it went. I thought this was gonna be like a messy disaster. Even though I am a makeup artist, this for me, like I'm quite a novice to things like this. So if I could do it, then you guys can definitely do it. It was so much easier than I was expecting. So overall my first impressions, I absolutely love these. And I think they're perfect for like if you're going on a holiday or you're going to an event and you don't wanna wear a strip lash, you could just wear these. And I feel a bit more comfortable wearing this rather than thinking, oh, my strip lash is gonna, pop off because that always happens to me when I'm going out so yeah for me these would be perfect for things like that I wouldn't be wearing these like constantly all the time because I don't really wear lashes that often but these for me will be perfect for like occasions or like if I've got plans and I want to wear them over like the next few days or like up to a week these will be perfect and I'm not going to end this video here I'm going to do a wear test as well so my first impressions I absolutely love them and then I am going to do <clears throat> I don't think there'll be daily updates but I'm going to at least have them on it's Wednesday now so I'm going to at least possibly wear them till Sunday and do an update on Sunday and see how we're getting on and then I will do a removal video as well so. hello everyone I am back with an update today is Sunday and I've been wearing my lashes since Wednesday so Wednesday Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we're on day five. As you can see, I've got all my lashes. I haven't lost a single one. So on Wednesday, which was the first day that I applied them, towards the end of the day and like at night time, I was conscious that they were there because I've only ever had my eyelash extensions done once. So I'm not used to having like lash extensions on. So it did take me a little while to get used to them. But after my first night, I couldn't really feel that they were there and I still can't feel that they're there. The only reason I'm actually taking them off today is that I want to do some tutorials and test some new lashes tomorrow. So I would have kept them on. I think these would have definitely lasted me over a week. I have looked after them the same way as I did when I had my eyelash extensions done before. So I've been quite careful around them. I didn't get them wet for 24 hours. And I've also like not used much of my cleanser around my actual eye. I've stuck to like a bit of micellar water or just normal water around my eyes. And they've lasted amazingly. I'm really happy. I'm definitely going to be wearing these for my holiday. I'm definitely going to be using them for the hem party that I'm going on in a few weeks time. So I'm super impressed and I'm excited to try like more styles as well. Yeah, overall super easy to apply. They've lasted me five days and they will last me a bit longer, but I've got to take them off today. And yeah, I haven't really got anything bad to say, to be honest. My main concern was like how comfortable they would be because I've got really sensitive eyes and I've had absolutely no issues whatsoever. So yeah, I'm really excited to try these again. I'll do another video of like a different style that I'll do as well, probably on my Instagram or something. So today is going to be removal day. We've reviewed the kit, we love that. Now we need to test the remover. So I bought the remover separately. I can't remember how much it was now. I feel like it was between seven and eight pounds. 
This is called the Invisi Lash Remover. I wanted to get the remover because I knew that if I liked them and they stayed on, obviously I need to take them off. They're not just gonna come off, come, come off, come off on their own. So this is what it looks like. And it looks like quite a liquidy solution. It's clear. It stays extra gentle and fizzy lash adhesive remover. You can also use these, like I said earlier in the video, to clean the clusters because you can save them and reuse them. So you don't have to throw them away once you've removed them. I'm going to save mine. So this is what you can use to clean them off as well, which I think is really handy because that saves a lot of money not having to throw them away. So instead of holding the cotton pad on because I've applied the lashes underneath I think I need to kind of apply it underneath like because that's where I applied the glue really isn't it I don't know whether this is right or wrong but in my mind that's what I'm thinking okay I've just pulled that one off because I think it was ready I'm starting to definitely come a little bit loose if I was doing this and I wasn't filming it I would literally just pull them off and they would come off of my fingers but I know that that's not really the best thing to do for your lashes so we're going to do it properly and these are coming off now just like um, if you were pulling like a strip lash off so try not to pull them until like you can feel they're pretty much off already they are really like stuck on there like this one is just keep on soaking it because the last thing you want is to just pull it off and then pull all of your eyelashes out the one thing i will say is out of all the clusters not one has got like my natural eyelashes on so i know that it hasn't like pulled any of my lashes out you might get like a couple of your own eyelashes coming off yay last one um, coming off because obviously you're natural shedding so that is all of them gone okay so that's all the eyelashes off I have got a little bit of residue left on my lashes so I'm going to try and remove that next okay, so just to get the very last bits this is what I do when I've tinted my eyes to make sure I've got the tint off I've got the solution on the cotton pad I'm going to fold it into a quarter and then I'm just going to run it backwards and forwards just through my lashes just to make sure I've got all the residue off and this way it doesn't like irritate your eyes too much. Well, the removal was easy, it was comfortable, this didn't irritate me at all. It is one of those things where you're just going to have to take your time just to soak them and remove them properly rather than like trying to tug on them too much. I will say I wish there was a little bit more. In here like I wish the bottle was bigger because I've used half of the solution already so that means I'll have next time to remove them and then I'll have to buy a new one so yeah I do wish this was just a little bit bigger just because I felt like I needed more than I was expecting to like really soak them off so yeah other than that removal was absolutely fine I think once you've had a practice you'll find these quite easy I think next time I'll find them a lot easier as well and I'll be a bit quicker next time hopefully so overall I absolutely love them they're definitely like really handy if you've got occasions or holiday or something and you don't want to faff around with a strip lash. They're not anything like that I've tried or used before and I found it went really well. So overall, absolutely love them. Excited to try new styles and different like designs and things like that. So yeah, overall I've been super impressed. I'm going to miss my lashes now for the rest of the week. I've been used to like not having to like do much makeup and stuff because my lashes are already done so let me know whether you've tried these down in the comments i really hope you've enjoyed today's video let me know if you have in the comments as well please give it a big thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next week in my next one bye